take your Google form and add it to your WordPress website. It's actually easier than that. And the best part about it is you don't need any third-party plugins or paid software to do it. Everything's included in Forms and WordPress. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to do that on this episode, so stick around. Make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to keep your production skills sharp. So right now in front of me, I've got my Google Forms open. That's forms.google.com. Now, in this tutorial, I'm not going to go over the ins and outs of Google Forms, but I will give you some tips on how to make your forms more effective and to get notified every time somebody new fills out the form. So at the top here, we see we've got some template options that are pre-built. If we want to make our own from scratch, we would click this plus sign over the blank option. I've actually started a contact information form here, so I'm going to click on that one. And we see here, here's the form. If I want to add uh, additional fields to this form, I would click on the right-hand side and add uh, the desired field type there. If I want to edit any of my fields here, I would go ahead and uh, click on the field and then update the text or the answer type, um, just changes to short answer. Uh, I can also make this field non-required, so I can click this little bubble here, and then we'll see that uh, that red dot is no longer on that field up top. So this looks pretty good. I don't think I want to make any additional changes to this form. Um, over in responses, I want to do one quick thing before we publish. Click on this ellipses that you see over here and make sure that get email notifications is checked. Um, otherwise, anytime somebody fills out the form, you're not going to get notified by email. You would just have to come back to the form to view the responses. But we want something that's actually firing off to our email to let us know, hey, somebody filled out a new form and this is going to be a little bit more efficient than having to come back to the form every single time. So make sure that's checked. Um, again, form looks good. We're ready to uh, embed into WordPress. In the upper right corner in Forms, we're going to click this Send button. And we'll see we get this pop-up here. And we see the options Send Via. And then we get an email icon, a link icon, and this code icon right here. We're going to click on that code icon. We'll see that we're given the Embed HTML for our Google Form. So we're going to click on the uh, text there. We can Control c Copy, or we can simply click this Copy button right here on the screen. Copy to Clipboard, perfect. Now, at this point, we're going to go over to WordPress, and we can add this code to a page or a post. I've got a page set up right here. I've got the title already set. And if you're familiar with WordPress at this point, they've updated the visual editor to um, use these things called blocks. We're going to click on this block right here, and we're going to go ahead and paste our HTML code. WordPress is smart enough to update that box to an HTML box. So this code here is not going to display as the code. It's going to display as the form on our page. And we'll see by clicking Preview that WordPress is going to just display this Google form on our page, and it's going to look nice and pretty. There we go. We see our title, and we see our form, and everything looks good. Um, and that's really as easy as it gets to add your Google form over to your WordPress website. If you have any questions on how this works or you're just something you're not understanding, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I'd be happy to help. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button. And if you want to increase your media production skills, make sure you click the subscribe button on the channel. I would be very appreciative if you did. And I want to give you guys some good content moving forward. That's it for this episode. My name is Steve and I'll see you next time.